All right, guys, it is the morning of the fight. I am very nervous uh, for this fight. I have absolutely no idea if anyone's gonna show up. And I honestly don't even know if Lucas and Seth know what time the fight's at because they do not respond to my text messages. So I, uh, I just arrived. Austin's here. I'm here. And that's, that's everybody who's here. No, it's not. Whoa. I'm feeling like Seth is gonna lose. My fighter will take out anyone. Not Seth. I got, I got Seth, but uh, okay. I'm betting on Lucas. Fair enough. We got, I got Lucas. Okay. Okay. Austin, are you ready? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to what can only be described as the fight of the century. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome you to the McPhail International Dojo. Before we begin the fight this evening, we have just a few short announcements for you all. Firstly, we are required to go over the emergency fire protocol in case of emergency. Please panic and understand that it is every man, woman, and child for themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure to introduce our opening performance for this evening. His musical talent knows no bounds, and I'm fairly confident he wrote this song on the bus. Please somewhat enthusiastically put your hands together for Jack McVale, singing his brand new hot, not hit signal, Blue Balls. Jack's opening act was truly spectacular. Let's move on. But now it's time for the main event, the show you've all been waiting for. Weighing in at a staggering 0.073 metric tons and an enormous 1.9 yards, it's the agile weapon, the fist of fire, the flatulence to the flame, just a downright stinky guy, Seth Richard! Stones and a whopping 33.5 Big Macs tall. It's the meaty menace, the despicable dumpling. He's kind of a big deal. You know him, you might love him, I'm not sure. The obvious underdog, Lucas McPhee! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Woo. Now, in honor for our country, men and women who have served this country, please rise for the national anthem as sung by tonight's ring girl, Boston Piquet. Oh, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Oh, this guy stinks! Whose broad stripes and the bombs bursting air gave proof through the night that the flag was still there. Over oh, the land of the free. Now, before we begin, gentlemen, we must go over the rules. I hit here's a point. I hit here's a point. I hit here. Don't even think about it. I know. I'd hit. Here's a point. I'd hit. Here's a point. No, no. There will be five rounds, and the fighter with the most points by the end will take it. Or, you can win with a knockout. I do have one last question for you, gentlemen. Are you ready to rumble? Yeah! yeah.
When I saw people actually showed up, I started to get my expectations higher, which immediately dropped as soon as the first round started. The crowd really wasn't having it watching these two boys run around in circles, so I was happy to see that they started to make contact with one another. Oh, oh. Oh, Luke is using that padding. Come on. Where am I supposed to go? Maybe it'll be an upset. What are the rounds? What are the rounds? Say it to the. Um, we are here because we are so inspired by this bottling spectacle. Because I want to watch some kill Lucas. That's not going to win. After seeing the fighting get more intense, on one hand, I was relieved that this wasn't going to be a disappointing show, but on the other hand, I was worried that Seth and Lucas might hurt each other. All those four headshots, let's hear you. Let's hear you. The crowd was getting riled up, and the announcer, Austin, wasn't helping anything. I did not want to allow Lucas and Seth to actually hit each other in the head. That could lead to serious injury, and neither of them have any fighting experience. However, they were so persistent, and I realized this was a battle I was going to lose. So I compromised with them, and told them that for the final round, they'd be allowed headshots. I thought at the time, the least that I could do was minimize the time frame that they could hit each other in the head. Competitors return to the mat. We're about to get started with round three. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. On the mat, on the mat, stop! Oh. Oh. Hey, I got scared. How you feeling about this? My dojo. How you feeling about this? I was like, yo, what the hell? They're going to break the glass. They're going to break the glass. Please. Down. Around, <laughs> Lucas and Seth were in a rhythm now, and the crowd was loving it. You want to say anything? Oh, Seth's yeah. being a little bitch. Lucas just in the first one. Oh! 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 The glasses are off. The glasses are off. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 the crowd was absolutely loving it. 
Lucas, who I thought was supposed to be the underdog, seemed to almost even have the upper hand against Seth, and both of them were performing much better than I ever thought was possible. But now, it's time for the final round, round five, to squash the beef that started over a month ago. And more importantly, decide who will have to legally change their name to Little Sissy Baby Girl. We're going into this final round. Winner takes all. I think they, have, I think they both have a concussion. What the? Go! Oh! 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 Good block! Good block! Yes, sir. Thirty seconds. Let's go. Let's go. This is the worst day of my life. Five, four, three. Oh, As the final bell rung, you could tell that nobody really knew how to feel. The crowd didn't know why they actually showed up. Lucas and Seth didn't know why they agreed to this. And I myself didn't know why I wanted to do this. The scores right now, we ask everyone, bear with us while we figure out the winner. What do you think? For the final score, it was a 28 and a 34.5 victory for Seth. Yeah! Our champion. I that is all the time we have for today. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for attending this waste of time. Please go home now. Whether you wanted Lucas to win or Seth to win, I think it's safe to say we created a boxing spectacle. And I think it's safer to say that Jada's scoring doesn't make any sense. At the end of the day though, it doesn't matter who wins, who loses, if the beef is squashed or not. The moral of the story is we made five videos out of this.